you know, one of the things that a lot of people told me and I was, uh, that made me incredibly happy about my first book, Parenting for a Peaceful World, uh, I, I, so many people wrote to me and said, I did not expect this, but when I read your book, I ended up feeling very forgiving towards my parents. Oh. All of the things that I was mad at them and I thought that they were bad parents when they did this and that. That when you see, um, I mean, it's not about denying or, or kind of, it's not about putting lipstick over it. Mm -hmm. It's accepting the raw truth. Of, this was hurtful, but then you see the story of your parents and, and when they were children, yeah. that's when you get the ah, no wonder experience. And if I had been in my parents' shoes, I would have been, I would have parented like my parents. Yeah. Um, and um, we're all essentially vulnerable to our, especially as children, we're, we're totally vulnerable to our surrounding. So our parents are a product of the history to a large degree and, and so on and so on. So when you try to find somebody to blame, you, you, you discover soon enough that you can't, uh, there's no place where the blame lands because the monster was treated monstrously. So then you go back to the monster that preceded your monster and you realize that that monster has a monster behind him and her too. Yeah. Um, all the way back. So, um, and this is, this is real. When you get the story of a person, you really, really get it. Yeah. So I, to me, this was an accidental discovery that knowing the story of a person and knowing your own story, this applies to you as well, that, ends up producing forgiveness in some way. Um, and it, that caught me by surprise, but it, gosh, it was a beautiful surprise. Yeah. 